Hi everybody, this is Tanya Pizzolatto of Shimmering Tarot. Welcome to my channel. We have a pick a pile for you today. So, take your time in picking your pile. This is what's next, it's for singles, what's next in love. So you could have just started dating someone too, and that would include you, because you're still single. So, take your time in picking a pile. These are uh, for many people. Each pile is for many people. This is not a personal reading. So if you want a personal reading from me that's going to be a paid reading, you can reach me in the description box below. My email address will be in there. and uh, Or you can also look elsewhere on my channel for other readings I've done. See if uh, one of those works for you. This does doesn't have what you're looking for and there's many other readers on YouTube too so there is plenty out there for you so take your time in choosing your pile we have pile number one this is the light seers deck with a crescent moon a lace agate a crescent moon with this uh, druzy in that I just think that's just so gorgeous. Then we have the Simplicity Tarot, the Red Roses Gilding. Before you shuffle it up, you can see like stars. But now that it's all shuffled up. So that's the Simplicity Tarot with a clear quartz um, pyramid. And we have the Mermaid Tarot with a um, Aura Quartz uh, Crescent Moon. So that's pile number three. One, two, and three. So take your time in picking your pile. You can choose by the deck. You can choose by the crystal. You can uh, pause the video right here and take some time to meditate. And um, pick by something, you know, your spirit guides is telling you this pile or that pile. So you choose. Do whatever feels right for you. So I'm going to start pulling the two piles away. And remember, this is for singles. You know, you're just starting out in a new relationship. Or, you're, or am I going to meet someone new soon? So we'll see what all this energy and what your spirit guides are saying to us. So let's take this away. And we're going to ring the bell in between each reading. Clear the energy from previous readings and call in your spirit guides to help us pick the cards. So let's see, what is next for the singles in love? What's coming next in love? Ah, page of wands, very carefree feeling. I love that, that the feeling there. Age of Swords. So this is some very youthful energy. This is, what I'm getting from this is like your body, you could even be older, but your body is feeling in great health. Very in control of your body. It's feeling good. You're, you're feeling good and in touch with your body. So that's the one thing. You know, this also talks about immaturity because pages are, Immature, doesn't matter. You could be older, a lot older, and still be immature. But there's, you know, a great feeling uh, of chemistry coming. 
enlightenment, you know. You have to be careful with the Page of Swords that you're very tactful. You may be very intelligent, but that doesn't guarantee that you're tactful in the things you say. So be careful when you're meeting new people. Well, you should always be careful, but... Oh, the star. This is a beautiful energy. So along with this very youthful feeling, vibrancy, healthiness, we have this spiritual peace about you. So whoever's coming into your life, you're expecting to have them to be in line with your spiritual peace. I mean, they don't have to believe what you believe, but this is saying that someone who compliments you and that there is this inspiration and hopefulness and spiritual connectedness that's going to be coming into your life. It's just this great feeling. This is an Aquarius sign, so it could apply to your sign or their sign. Or someplace in your sign, because there's many signs in each of our charts. Two of Pentacles. So, you will be juggling a lot of things. You might be juggling work and school. Or you could be juggling work and family. You know, you might be divorced. But there's, no matter what's going on, you you have a lot going on. It might be just de developing your physical fi uh, fitness that you're working so hard on. But you're needing to find time to date. And more important, to take care of yourself. You know, do your exercise. Do your evolutions in the morning. Uh, do your walk. Do your cleaning. Shower. You know. Eating breakfast. There's all these things we all have to do every single day. And then we need to find time to pray or meditate. Whatever it is you do or do both. This is very important in, you know, finding love. Because when you're looking for love and you want to attract the right kind of person into your life, that's, you know, not a crazy chaotic love. We want a true love. We want happiness. We want a peaceful love. And this is, pile number one is absolutely wanting a peaceful love with the star there. So we need to make sure that we are always in our bed, best headspace, in our body. Because definitely the body here is feeling very important, feeling very physically in tune with yourself, Having a healthy body, you know, not being in pain. There's this sense of the most important thing is being, you need to be very in tune with yourself to attract the right person. So you, if you meet the wrong person and they're chaotic or just batshit crazy, you're like, oh, I'm going elsewhere. Bye. Nice meeting you. These are all the things we have to do as a human being to find love. And this is what the cards are telling you. This is what the spirit guides are wanting you to know. Take care of yourselves. Be in your best health every day. Find time for everything that you need so you can find a healthy love. Not one is just, you know, based on good looks. Tower. Even with doing all this, there will be ups and downs you know, and chaotic moments in the, your love life, you know, when you meet, meeting people, dating them. But also with the tower, the great thing with the tower, even though this is talking about, you know, all this upheaval and chaos that happens, you get this enlightenment. This uh, lightning bolt is talking about enlightenment in what you're learning and what you have learned from past relationships that help you to find the, the right love. So let's see what else.
the fool. So you are very ready. You are ready to plunge, take the plunge, fall in love. Everything is saying you are ready. You're, you're at peace. You know you need to do these things. And you know that there may be some chaotic people you meet in on your journey of finding love. And maybe you've already, you probably already have met a lot of chaotic people on your journey already. Which has helped you to learn so much already about what you really want. Four of Wands. So you are meeting someone that it, you're going to be very serious about. Maybe you even do have some chaos at first when you meet this person. You know, because life happens. They could be going through some things. You could be going through some things that are not pleasant, but you're you're dealing with them. You're handling them the best that can be way they can be handled. So... You have taken the plunge, you're, you're meeting someone, and it's someone you're going to care about very much that you want to celebrate with, you, and you want to celebrate, bring them around your family, your friends. This is someone you, you want to be committed with. This is not just a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of relationship. This is someone you want a real commitment with. In pile number one. Five of Wands. So maybe you guys meet and you guys are competing at something. This this could be a possible way you guys meet. Or you're both very competitive at and do things like to to do things like uh, running races, you know, whatever it is. This pile, pile one, I'm just getting that the physicality is very important between you and this new person you're going to be meeting. You're both very physically active. Like to do stuff. And the chemistry is going to be great. Two of Wands. So you guys are wanting to, you know, put going to make plans together. You both are going to be feeling very connected with one another. Yes, we've got the spirit, the star here. There's this connection immediately, you know, and happiness of being together and making plans and. Number one, no, not only is this a physically active, this is physically active sexually relationship. The chemistry is off the charts. The Hierophant. So something that is important to this person that you will be meeting is their intellect and their traditions. This person can be a very traditional person, and and it may not be the traditions you you have, but it means respect theirs too. You know, you don't have to have the same uh, culture, traditions, but you can have a happy relationship if you respect each other's cultural and traditions. You know, we should be doing that for everybody, anyways. Give each other respect as humans. So I wanted to take a look at the tower. Get some information on that tower card. Some clarity. Spirit, give us some information on this tower card. The moon. Okay, so there are some things that you aren't looking at. And this can cause you to take missteps, misjudge, feel insecure, and also makes you feel like running away. And I say that because normally this is about leaving uh, toxic situations to go to smoother waters.
but you are just starting to meet, get out there and meet people. And if your if your gut says leave the situation, absolutely leave. Okay. But I feel like you know, there's a part of you that's just scared and not looking to your own intuition. So I also say listen to your gut. And with this moon card, you tend to not want to. I mean, your intuition is off the charts, okay? But you tend to not want to listen to it. Listen to it. It is there for a reason. I want to look at the Page of Swords. Because the Page of Swords, even though it's got this youthful energy, very intelligent, can tend to be very tactless and rude without meaning to. And can end situations, and this is a situation that also needs to be transformed about you. So be careful when meeting people. Don't disguise this as, as oh, I'm just saying the truth. No, that the truth is can be tactless. You need to be considerate. Unless someone's asking for evaluation about something, I don't even care. I don't care about uh, something criticism. What is it called? What, there's a word, another word. Uh, it's supposed to be about helping you. But this criticism is just a way to, a nice way for people to say, I'm beating you up. You need to listen, okay? Be more like this King of Cups. Don't talk so much. Listen. We're all human. We all have feelings. So listen to other people's feelings. Do Give all humans that respect. Don't think that people don't know a lot about their uh, weaknesses. I think a lot of people are very aware of them. And narcissists, they don't care about their weaknesses, okay? There are people out there that don't care. Sociopaths, they don't care. These people do not care about weaknesses. Of whether you see them in themselves and they don't, they don't care. But in general, most people are quite aware of their weaknesses. <laughs> they don't need you pointing them out and beating them over the head with this. And I'm, I'm saying this as best as I can because of the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords can be very tactless. Take a look at this Two Swords. No, the Two I want to look at the... The competitiveness. Okay. So take a look. Spend a little time looking inwards. Are you being competitive because it's just something you enjoy? You know, because there, there are a lot of people that enjoy competition. There are other people that do it because they got to be better than you. Better than this person. That's not healthy. Okay. If you want a relationship with someone and you don't want it to be based on trauma bonding and having an abusive relationship, <laughs> spend some time by yourself. Look inward. What is causing you to want to be better than? Are, are you that insecure? Nine of Cups. Okay. This spending that time going inward and looking at yourself has blessed you with good luck. You see this Nine of Cups? Make a wish. Always make a wish when you see the Nine of Cups. This is about wishes granted. Okay. And I'm, I'm telling this to you, all of you out there watching this. Make a wish. You see the Nine of Cups? Make a wish. It's like, the, you know... 
when you go see the the fat Buddha, you rub his tummy, tummy for good luck. Make your wish. Or then you see the magic lamp, you know. Personally, I would not rub a magic lamp. You don't want to mess with the jinn, jinnies, jinn, genies. No, they're very evil and tricky. But this is, okay, you spend some time alone looking inwards and you learn what it is that, that you have been trying to heal with this competitiveness and you deal with it and you come to peace. You learn to be content. For those of you that this is not competition because you enjoy competition, that it is for you to feel better about yourself, this is what you need to do. Spend some time by yourself. Look inwards. So you can change what it is that makes you feel insecure and learn to live a content life. Because, you know, there's bad things about all of us and we can accept and we can forgive those things about us. And this will bring us to having a very healthy, happy love relationship. I, I know you're wondering, how does this have to do with your next love? This is how you're going to find your next love. How you're going to find a love where that you're truly happy. Where that you truly have a spiritual union with another person. Where a person listens to you. Where you don't have to be constantly breaking up and moving on. Not in a, a abusive relationship. Justice, okay. This is talking about, this justice card at the bottom of the deck is talking about. You do all these things, and this is going to be the, the person you're supposed to be married to. This is talking about being completely healthy inside and out. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, being healthy. This leads you to your next love your true love to your spiritual union to celebrating and you know getting all the steps maybe moving in uh, getting engaged getting married and this is talking about you know marriage and signing contracts and you see this uh image you see her looking in seeing uh her face is different. Her hair is different. Her eyes look empty. You don't want to be in touch with that part. You want to be in touch with this in the light, in the present. You don't want to be indulging in your dark side. You know, we all have a dark side, a light side. It is who we are. And we want to celebrate our traditions and the person that we love celebrate uh, traditions. We want to be a part when you're in a real relationship, a healthy one, a happy one. You want to be a part of their life. You know, you want to experience all these things with them and they want to experience th th yours with you too. So let's take a look at some um, Oracle cards. Okay, we have jumper soulmates okay so we have definitely have a soulmate so i know i see see marriage coming you know with the four of wands and the justice card the big part about finding true love is dealing with all these inside things that is the number one thing that helps you find true love new beginning this, this soulmate that you'll be meeting, is it's a new beginning, new happiness, a new experience, not like all the others. Music is a big part of you. Both enjoy music. That could be how you meet each other, going out dancing. Frozen. So, 
there could be moments where you feel kind of a shy with this frozen energy, you know. This is when you got to give yourself a little pep talk. You're out and about and there are people. You need to remind yourself that you're a great person. We all are. And that, and that you're intelligent. You're funny. You're charming. And you start to relax. And then you, you're going to uh, radiate these beautiful vibrations that are going to attract people. And they're going to want to be around you. Laws of karma. So you got karma. We all always have karma coming to us. But it feels like a good karma. It feels like it's happy. Very lighthearted with this uh, uh, Ferris wheel. Yes, Ferris wheel. We got reunion. So maybe this could be some uh, one you've met in the past. Could be a past uh, uh, significant other. It could be someone that you met in the past. It could be an old friend. Playing it cool. We all always want to be playing it cool. You know, so they do this too, okay? Not only do you do this, they do this too. Because we all want to seem cool. Seduced. And we all want to seem so seductive. Incredibly sensual. To someone we care about, you know? Or want to be with. I, I knew there was a lot of chemistry. Oh, look at that. Masculine. So, I mean, you could be out looking for someone and you're looking for a female. Don't take that masculine to mean that this person is a male. Masculine means that they are in, in touch with their masculine energy and comfortable with it. Whatever energy you have, you want to be comfortable with it. You want to be comfortable in your own skin. That makes you incredibly beautiful, handsome, void. This feels like, okay, there are parts of us that are a little empty, maybe. That have been empty or not looked at, you know, especially with that moon card we got earlier. This does not have to be empty. Start putting into your void happy memories. Happy things you do now, you know. Build happiness to replace this emptiness. You are the only person who can do this. Yes, it's great when we meet someone and they give us all these wonderful feelings and stuff. But you you need to start doing it. And, and, and it's really great when someone else comes into your life and you experience it with them. Now let's look, take another look. Victory, success, rewards, spotlight on you, N love offer, new door to romance. Yes, I know that I knew there's a new love coming. I knew it's very sexual. Enlightenment, and I knew that with the star, spiritual awakening, all the um. Um, wands talking about you know victory and success and love a chemistry and the four wands love justice muse artistic artistic inspiration and entertainment like the music yes Heart is very enlightening. There is a card that turned over. Where is it? Turning over a new leaf. Improvements. Attitude change. Yes. Like with this void card. 
that it's talking about an attitude change. Change your attitude. Fill your own cup up. Turn over a new leaf. You know, the moments you feel shy and don't want to reach out to people. Turn over that new leaf. Feel good about yourself. Because, you know, nothing is more beautiful and sexy and handsome, gorgeous than a person when you see them and their eyes shine with a smile. They smile. Their eyes shine with confidence, healthiness, happiness. This has, you don't have to physically smile to see that this person is very happy. You see it in their eyes. So yes, there is new love. They are your soulmates. Great new beginning. And both enjoy artistic endeavors and music. I just feel so much happiness for pile number one. few things you got to work on, you know, you have to be aware of, like the Page of Swords, you know, being tactful and uh, not wanting to boost yourself up by competing with people. You co compete because you like to compete, not because you want to be better than, you know, and there are chaotic moments and a lot of times they become because we don't want to look inward. We don't want to deal with our issues. We don't pay attention to our intuition. Number one thing. Always listen to your intuition. This card's telling you what a beautiful, beautiful spiritual union this will be. And this is telling you keep everything in balance, in alignment. And this, this whole pile here is talking about this page of swords. Put it into your tactlessness, you know. We know you're intelligent, okay? Put it, you don't need to keep beating us on the heads with it. Put it into that. Transform it. Be a person who listens. A caring person, you know. Everybody loves that. Okay. So that was pile one. Let's go over to pile number two. The Simplicity Tarot. Let's ring the bell. Call on your spiritual guides. So. Something came. Okay, Page of Wands. I think that was the same card we got the very first one. For uh, the last pile. So pile to number two. Page of Wands. Nine of Cups in a reverse. So Nine of Cups, when you see it upright, you want to make a wish. Because it's about wishes coming true. <coughs> I'm not taking all these cards that came out. Because that was too many at once. Spirit guys, tell us what's coming next in love. Eight of Wands. Okay, so we have a lot of chemistry going on pile number two. We have this immature energy, okay? It can be you can be an older person, but still have this immature energy. You have a lot of energy built up and you're not quite good at sitting still and being content there's a lot of go lot going on in your life right now too answers coming and going trips things constantly happening it feels like that you don't have a lot of energy or time for yourself seven of cups or yes yeah, seven of cups so this means a lot of options. You have lots of options on your plate right now. 
And when you see this card, this tells you to, you know, be wary. Uh, pick the healthy options. Some the ones that seem like fantasy, leave leave on the plate. You know, leave them there. You know, you want you want a good house. You want uh, decent money coming in. You want your spirituality. You don't want the snake. You don't want this. You know, the demon looking face. You want the wreath because that's speaking mastery of mind, you know, and the good income, your security here, your spirit here, being in touch with yourself here. Also, it could be many people are after you want to be with you, you know. But this is what's going on in your life when you're meeting this new person. Whoa. So, you have a lot going on in your life. You're busy, always waiting for answers. And this tells us that you are, have been very busy building up security financially. To you, whether you have built the security, fin the financial security that you have been wanting, you have been working on it. Because you want to, you know, have plenty of money in the bank so that you don't have to worry about anything when you are, you know, you find the love of your life. You know, you want to be secure with them and whatever children or whatever situation you choose to have with this person, no matter what hap is going on. So financial security is very important to you and or to your person that you're going to be meeting. Knight of Cups, okay. So they are not outpouring with the emotions. But sometimes the Knight of Cups upright can be so syrupy with laying it on, you know? They let, they profess so much love. They can be a little too syrupy. So you might need to tell this person to, you know, get... Start, you know, saying the nice words because you do need to hear some of it. Knight of Coins. Okay, this is a great sign. This this person, the Knight of, is very much a Taurus energy. I know I've heard people say Virgo, but no, this is Taurus. This is a person who really looks at all the options and chooses what is best for you them and your family, whatever that family situation is, and then decides what's best for all of you. This is a very stable person, steady, and also one of the slowest people in the world because they, they look at everything before choosing. And don't try to push them. This is where you really see the Taurus come out. You try to rush this person, they slow down even more. So do not push them. This is who they are. This person that's going to be coming into your life, when you meet them, they are, they have lots of options in life. The finances are very important to them. And they always look at things very practical. And they choose things because of what's good for you guys as a couple. They are not self-centered. They're very caring and loving and loyal. This is a very loving, loyal sign. Page of Coins, Admiration, and Money News. So this person could be looking for a promotion. That could be part of what's um, this uh, Eight of Wands, always waiting for these answers. So this is the person that you will be meeting that's coming into your life. They're uh, very career-oriented, very family-oriented, very serious person. They're not uh, overly lovey-dovey, but they do feel those feelings. You just have to be very clear with them and tell them, I like to hear these things. You want to hear these lovey-dovey feelings? 
Just be plain and simple. They understand plain and simple. They don't understand playing games and playing with their emotions. That does not play well with this person. This is very pr plain, practical person. King of Wands. So this is very charismatic person too. Even though they're very serious, they're very charismatic. Everybody wants to be around them. They just they feel so good. Yes, there's chemistry. They they have the maturity. And clarity of mind. So this is telling you a lot about this new love that's coming into your life. You have a, a, a mature person. There's some things, you know, they're immature in, you know, being physically, physical, you know. They're not, they're not a player. This is not a player that you are hooking up with. This is someone that's very practical, very down to earth. But does have serious charisma with you. Where chemistry is incredible. And they're not lovey-dovey in their words. But they do love you. And they learn to be content, content with you, you know. They're just so busy chasing, you know, things when they get with you in the beginning. So let's take a look at that. I want to see the Nine of Cups reversed. Six of Coins reversed. Okay. So they're not practicing something that they will be very good at. And that is the balancing. That's why they're not being content. Because they're, they've been on their own a long time now. So they got to switch over to the we mindset here. That's what's going to change this not being content to being content. Let's see what else. Oh. Ace of um, coins. So lots of new opportunities. You know. So there's, there's going to be not, uh, lots of opportunities for there to have balance, to have um, contentness, contentment, wishes coming true. Lots of new opportunities and stability in this relationship. And let's look at the Knight of Cups. The Magician. This is telling you make the manifest this relationship to being what you want. You want to hear the loving words. S start out with telling them the loving words you want to hear. And if they don't reciprocate, tell them you need to hear the loving words. You need to hear these romantic words. By If you don't do this, you are betraying yourself, Okay. You are stabbing yourself in the back if you don't deal with this situation. You can change this. Look, the first thing we got is the magician. You can change this um, person who doesn't want to be telling, you know, saying all these romantic things. Or it's just not natural to them, okay? That's more of what it is. It's not natural. You are in charge of changing this. You know, we, we don't want to change people, but we do need to let them know what our needs are. And this is a need for you. Four of um, Pentacles. Yes, it could be speaking of uh, greed, but this I'm feeling more about control here. This person is very, that's coming into your life, is very into controlling you know, handling things. They're just very practical and they like things to be done very practical. This is not a person that is um, trying to hold on and control you. They are just trying to make things work smoothly. 
make sure they have the savings in the bank, that everything is taken care of for you guys. But this, this is a very loving, caring person that's coming into your life. Or even that you've already met. Healing. Yes, we want to see healing. Awakening. Oh, this is beautiful. So this person that's coming into your life is just having an awakening. Sometimes their head is all over the place because there's so much going on. This person that you are, they have, pile number two, you have a very serious, this is a very serious pile. This is a very serious person or people that you have have coming into your life. You have picked a pile where the person is very serious. They're very transparent. This is a great thing. You don't want someone who hides things. They're just serious a lot, you know? It's one of their great characteristics because you don't want someone who's flighty either. And you can walk away if you want to. This, it may sound opposite, but it's always good to know if you are not happy that you can walk away. This is not someone who's going to try to control you and keep you there like a narcissist would. But they definitely hope that you stay. Music. Music soothes the savage beast in all of us. Deception. So, you know, some of you may be going into this for looking for this person to take care of you. And they'll do it, but, you know, don't deceive them. Just be up front, you know. I want you to be the one to do the supporting. I want to be the one to stay home, take care of the house. And if you're looking for someone who's wanting, that has like a lot of money, make sure they have a lot of money and they don't mind pampering you. Forbidden fruit. Yeah, I'm feeling, you know, with the, these snakes, I'm feeling a gold digger. This is not the, the pile number two. This is not a person to be a gold digger with. This is a very stable person who is not looking for gold digger. They are looking for sanctuary, a place that is home where they are loved for who they are. I don't normally get the feeling of gold digger, person looking for, you know. There's still hope. So the, this person that's coming into your life has this very clear mind. You know, they're open. Their mind is open. And they still feel hope being with you. Even if you're looking, if you're a gold digger, they're hoping, okay, maybe they'll just be happy with a regular life. I know. Don't don't go in deceiving this person. Be honest who you are. Don't try to hurt this person. It's just a horrible thing to do to another human. Let's get more clarity with this oracle. Sugar coat, superficial expressions, not all that cracked up to be. So 
So there is some superficial things going on. This forbidden fruit, sugar coating. Time, divine timing, fated destiny. So the meaning of this person is in divine timing. Not something you can uh, make happen. It happens when it's supposed to. Locked out, access denied, hard to reach. So if you are this uh, looking for forbidden fruit, this will lock them off to you. That, that will close them off, their heart to you. Slipping, time to confront issues, make a move. So because of this, you know, whatever this forbidden fruit is to you, you will be, this person will be slipping away from you. You need to do something to change this. If you realize that this is the person you do love. This feels like such a serious pile, number two, for it, you know, this new love coming. Well, the, it, it, every card in there was really serious, every tarot card. Letting go, clean up, letting go of what no longer is serving you. Yes. So, pile number two, this, your person that you will be meeting is a very serious person. Very honest, responds to honesty very well. And can move on easily if you're not honest with them. If you are treating them badly. Don't be deceptive. Or forbid, forbidden fruit. This person is awakening to be happy with you. Healing. This is a person that is ready to be happy and in love with you. Not be hurt. This person is very mature, even though they share some, you know, new energy, you know, like the Page of Wands. Being so physical, you know, because there's this very sense of strong chemistry here. So that is very new for them, having all this chemistry. But they are very mature, very sensible, incredibly practical, down-to-earth person who makes wise choices, plans for the future, and wants a happy, healthy, content life. So that is who you have coming in pile number two. So pile number three with the mermaid tarot. Let's ring the bell. Call on your spirit guides, clean the energy. Put this over here. Okay. Let's see. Ten of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like um, this person that will be coming into your life has been betrayed. And they're looking for a very happy, stable family life eventually that is what they want they are willing to put all the work in that they they have to they are willing to do everything to make a happy situation and they have been abused and they're not going to accept this anymore so they are looking for a healthy situation eight of pentacles this is a very diligent energy person. This person is very um, hardworking, serious, caring. Six of 
Seven of Cups has many options available to them. Ace of Pentacles. They could be starting a new career, a new job, or getting a promotion. This it feels like a person that's coming into your life is very financially secure. Always working at making things better financially and stable. Very serious about it. Health, being healthy. Tower. There are ups and downs in life, okay? Just, you know, sometimes there will be chaotic moments in life. You know, with this person that you'll be with. But guess what? No matter what your life, who you're with, there's going to be these chaotic moments. They just happen. Sometimes... We catch an illness, you know, like the COVID. Six of Swords. So if if this is ends up being um we'll have to look, but if this ends up being a very dysfunctional relationship, this is a person that has no problems that picking themselves up. And moving on. This is not a person that is willing to be betrayed anymore. This is a person looking for a serious, healthy relationship that's coming into your life. And does not want dysfunction anymore. It feels like there is dysfunction. We'll, we'll pull more cards for this. When we see the Three of Cups in, in reverse, it's, you know, third party. Two of Swords. And they don't see it at first. So. <laughs> we'll look at first the Ten of Swords. Eight of Cups. So your person left this person that who betrayed them and got in touch with their own intuition. So they are they're in tune with themselves. This is a person who is listening to themselves, their heart, to guide them the right way. So let's look at this tower. So they understand that there are ups and downs. There is chaos in life. There are situations that happen beyond our control. But this person is, you know, okay, I, I understand that. I'm doing everything to make sure that I'm okay and I can weather anything out and be happy and content. Let's see what else. Two of Wands. And they're always making plans to make, you know, have things go the best way possible. So they are not expecting to have to move on. What would make them have to move on? If this emotionally is not, if this is hindering their emotional strength, this would make them have to move on. They do not need to be Emotionally abused, abused of any kind they don't need. I think I reversed it when I was, the way I was holding it. I'm not sure. Lovers. So this is a love relationship. This could be one where you guys are choosing each other to be together. You know, you have the same values of same choices. Why do we have this third party? The third party could be somebody else trying to invade this relationship. You or them, your partner. Let's see. 
What's going on with this third party? Why is that there? Queen of Pentacles. So this is, someone is trying to intrude your relationship who thinks they are very nurturing, loving, um, stable, very, they think they're so down to earth. They think they'd be a better partner for your person or something. So there is someone crushing on your partner. Trying to, you know, weasel, weasel their way in. So we, we got to be clear about this, okay? When you notice this or your partner notices this, you need to discuss this, you know, so you know that you're both on the same page that you're happy together and you want to be together and you confront this person and tell them this is not okay. And you both decide that this is not a person that you can have in your life. This is, you know, if they call, you just hang up. They, this is no go situation. You, you guys have to come up with the, the boundaries and how to deal with this together. And this, okay, here we go. And you guys do this, okay? This, all this happens in this new relationship. You guys become spiritually connected. This becomes a very beautiful relationship. Very um, peaceful, serene, absolute happiness. No need to change. It's just, we got the death card reverse. It's like, okay, we don't need anything to transition. We are happy. Now let's see what's at the bottom. The magician. Okay. So this is talking about in this new pile number three, this new love that's coming in your life. You guys are very much in charge of making this happen. It is how you handle each other, how honest you are with each other, how open you are with each other that makes this healthy, happy. That is awesome. So let's look at the oracle. Where did it go? There it is. Perspective. Oh, yes. All about getting a new perspective on life. Because when your person comes into your life, they're coming fresh out of an unhealthy relationship. So they're coming in with a fresh new perspective. Soulmates. All right. Well, we did get the lovers. That does speak of soulmates, twin flames. Surprising you. Awesome. This person that's coming into your life is a, a fresh breath of air, a surprise. Leap of faith. This is a very happy, happy relationship coming. You know, you're both mature, okay? This is, a, pile number three is about mature people having had life experience. And you guys are ready to have happy life experience now. I've learned that you have so much more control than you thought you did. You are in, independent in spirit, you know? You can take care of yourselves. You have independence, which makes you more beautiful. You're not weak and looking to your husband or wife or 
uh, parents to build you up. Release. You have released yourself from past trauma situations. Not that you should be dating someone who's married, but I'm, you know, a lot of people get in a relationship to have someone tell them how they feel, how they, you know. Confusion. Oh, yeah, that was the six of a nine of cups. Uh, no. The tower. Okay. Yes, this is perfect for that, you know. Yes, there are going to be chaotic moments in life still. It is the way the world uh, turns. Nothing ever goes perfectly smooth. Retreat. Sometimes the best thing to do is to back off and then talk, okay? When you're feeling too intense, is that is a good thing to do. Good rule of thumb. Forbidden fruit. That was that third party situation. That's like absolutely no go in this relationship I feel like that is not something wanted by either party fate this is a, a relationship that is meant to be together very happy to be together soulmates yeah that is the perfect for, to describe this. So pile number three. This is absolutely your soulmate. They're meant to be with you. You're meant to be with them. This is a very happy union. A very mature union. You both have lived life. Hi, Cocoa Pup. We have a couple of dogs over here. One big one, one little one. That was Cocoa Puff and Smudge. Just had to show you the babies. So let's take a look. Turning over new leaf. Improvement, attitude change, yes. So your person comes into your life with this new attitude, you know, of being happy that they have taken back their life and they are going to be happy now. They're not letting any flakes, uh, abusers into their life. Makeover. Feel beautiful. Spice yourself up. Male, female, you're coming in feeling beautiful. Taking care of yourself. Doing whatever is needed to make yourself feel good. That is awesome. Music melodies, soothing your soul through music. Yes, we had the music ca card. Where was it? Or was that a past? I think it was that past reading. But music soothes the savage beast in all of us. Wishes, wishes coming true, dreams coming into fruition. Oh, that is beautiful. That is what is coming for you, pile number three. Your dreams coming true. You are a gem. No one compares to you. Unique. I hope you enjoyed this pile number three. This is such, this feels so good. I know this is a new love, what's coming next in your life, love life. But this person is very mature, very open, very honest, has dealt with their issues. So they're coming to you healthy, open-minded, feeling good about themselves. This is beautiful. So I hope you enjoy your love life who this person that's coming in for pie number three you all are finding this wonderful person that
that is a soulmate and very healthy, very happy. And the great thing is they know to look and deal with their issues and they have dealt with issues, past issues. So they're coming like, you know, fresh, open hearted, their shoulders relaxed, their heart open to you, their palms out to grab your hands. So I hope you enjoyed this pile number three. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families and love each other. And give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so they tell you when um, I make a new video. And I'm wishing you all the best, sending you all love, kisses, and many blessings to all of you. Take care, everybody. Bye.